Hey there everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you're watching this from. And this is just going to be a small talk on the past, present, and the future. So, it's mainly going to be not touching on the topics of you know, the general uh, consensus or the general topic and meaning of the past, present, and the future, but what its purpose is, or what its uh, meaning or you know, purpose in general for us as people in terms of preparation for each other. So what I mean by that is basically the simple fact that your past normally or generally happened the way it did to prepare you for your current present. So whatever you've done or whatever you went through in your past, be it joyful, be it traumatic, be it painful and heartbreaking, uh, has prepared you for moments that you're experiencing right now in life, which is why uh, most of the time, I think uh, you know, it's, it's kind of easier to go through situations which you have been in before or rather have experienced a similar uh, situation or scenario before and how to tackle it now. So that's one thing about the past and how it prepares you for the present because whatever you went through before, it's again be it challenging or quite easy has prepared you for moments that you are experiencing right now in your life. Which is maybe why you are not that phased, not that you know, scared, not that uh, mind boggled or you know, hurt by anything that's happening. Because you've experienced it before, you have the confidence that you will, you will overcome it and you will get through it. it Full force and full strength, and you'll come out of it alive. Now, taking that into context, whatever is happening to you right now in the present is also going to prepare you for what's going to be happening in the future. Now, I know that's very, very hard to say if you're gonna, if you're going through a tough time right now, and you're, you know, you're only gonna like it's like you know what what do you mean like there there's gonna be worse things that's gonna happen in the future because I can imagine like if you're going through something right now that's extremely mind-boggling or extremely tough it's gonna be it's gonna be just you know really confusing to think that things could only get worse from here right uh, but that's the thing though, sometimes it can, and most likely 99% of the time, it will. Uh, speaking from own experience, that is, you know, uh, I'm a guy who normally does, doesn't have the best luck, and who always seems to fall short in many places, so uh, that was my past, and stuff happening like that now in the present is uh, really doesn't affect me because, like I said, I mean, I've been through it before and I'm going through it again, or just to a different degree, but pretty much the same. So, yeah, it really doesn't phase me. It really doesn't break me or want to, like, or make me want to, like, give up that easily and you know, just curl up in a ball and hope tomorrow never comes and all that. And sometimes I wanted to touch on that point of, you know, it can only get worse because, as I said, it can, and most likely it will. But, but at the same time, uh, sometimes it has to get worse for things to get better. I'm pretty sure you've heard that line somewhere, maybe in movies, maybe in books, maybe in shows, or just plain YouTube videos that you watch. Daily basis. 
But yeah, sometimes it's really just going to get worse. You're going to have to go through a downward spiral of bad luck, of failures, of heartaches and pains and regrets in order for you to finally hit that jackpot or get that, you know, knockout punch or, you know, or finally achieve the thing you've been longing for all this time or finally, you know, finding that sense of fulfillment or whatever it may be for you. You know, sometimes you're, it's going to have to get a lot, lot worse. You're going to have to be completely, you're going to have to reach a point of being completely helpless, completely heartbroken, completely, you know, mind, mind numb. I mean, I hope it doesn't get to that point for all of us, but sometimes if it has to, then uh, I only hope that you have the strength and I wish that you, that you are prepared for what's to come and that I hope and pray that in the midst of situations you'll make it out alive because I believe that's what that's what prepared us and that's what that's what's got us this far in life. No, is where the, the hardships and the hope inside us or the urges that just keep going to see if things will get better and to see it, see our life through. Yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, all in all, it just prepares us for better things and worse things. That's generally what the past is, and the present, and the future. It prepares us for each and every phase. Like they say, I mean, learn from your past mistakes, or, you know, let go of the sins of the past, because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but I don't generally think that that's correct, because... You know, letting go of the past, you you can't really let go of it because there are going to be situations or there are going to be, you know, scenarios that pop up in your life that will remind you of that and will test you ultimately if you've learned and you've grown from it and you've moved on from it. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, I believe that that, that meaning towards past, present, and future is basically preparing us just to be a complete human being, a complete and whole human being, because all of us are searching for something, all of us are longing for something, all of us are empty at times, so generally going through these phases in life, learning from what has happened, preparing for what's to come, and just overcoming and going through the motions of the present, that's that's generally how it goes each and every single day. And at the end of the day, I mean, who knows? Who knows what lies ahead for us at the end? Who knows how this all is going to end? How, how, it, you know, how it all is going to conclude? How our story is going to have its final nail in the coffin or, you know, a triumphant rise or whatever. And, and what's the character arc or what's the you know, the reward that we get at the finish line. I think that's genuinely to find yourself being the person that you always vision yourself to be. But rather, speaking in religious terms, who God wanted you to be. Because at the end of the day, whether we like to believe it or not, we are a character, we don't know if the we don't know if we're the main character of our own story or we're supposed to be a side character to somebody else's story. But at the end of the day, we have a purpose to fulfill. And at the end, only when, only when we've reached that point, you know, when we're looking back at our life, that is when we'll understand why we went through what we went through and who we were really meant to be. So all I encourage is that we keep going, we keep fighting to whatever it is that we're going through, be it bad, be it miserable, heartbreaking, mind-bending, and uh, let's not forget to, of course, enjoy the good moments while they are there, I mean, they might be right to come by, but once you do, just make the most out of it, because 
at the end of the day, a life is sorry in, uh, the, in the words of the great Kevin Hart, or famous Kevin Hart, he said in an interview, our life's a book. So what does our book generally as individuals look like? How does our story how does, how does our story play out in the future and how has it played out so far? So at the end of the road, when you're at that point, how does your book look like? Uh, it's something to think about, but yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Hope you have, hope you took something away from this and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye -bye.